Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you combined Gone Home with Observation? Uh, two games that we've play previously played on this stream, uh, but are quite different in tone and genre and mood um, and in basically everything. Uh, but if you combine those two things, you would kind of get Tacoma. Um, and that's what we're going to be playing this week. Uh, we're going to get started with it very shortly. Uh, this is uh, a really, this is an interesting game, and it's a game that is really best served going into it knowing as little as possible. So I'm not going to jabber on too much. Uh, we're just going to jump right in. I'm just going to switch over to the game so I can see it. Uh, I want to say hello to everyone in the chat. I want to say uh, that I hope that you're all doing a really. You are hearing a cat purring. I mean, hang on. If I, hang on. If I, before we start, if I mute the game audio. Now move the microphone a little bit. That's some parent sounds. It's very audible. <laughs> he's very loud, to be fair. Um, but he's lying on my on my lap right now. He's got himself comfortable for a bit. Uh, and I'm going to... I don't think there's anything I need to faff with gameplay. Oh, oh we can keep all of this, I think. Um, let's see if we need to change them later. But we're going to start a brand new game. We're not going to do commentary. Yes, please. So, going into this blind. Well, not me. I've played this game. But I'm not going to tell you anything. This was developed by the same studio uh, that made Gone Home, uh, Fulbright. Uh, this is their second game. Uh, they're currently working on their third game, which has been delayed uh, quite a while. So I think that's been in kind of a rough development. Um, Gone Home was obviously a big... It was kind of a phenomenon when it came out. And this game wasn't as popular, but I do think that this game has a lot of its own... Uh, it's got a lot of good stuff to it. Oh my god, thank you so much, Pank! Four months. Oh, good goodness me. Oh my god, a gift! Thank you, Pank! Oh. Thank you, Starfucker! <laughs> oh, thank you so, right, so man. much. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. Transfer station Tacoma. Commercial cargo transit facility. Crew evacuated. Station AI offline. Air supply. Breathable air on Tacoma for a crew of one should be more than sufficient. Docking now. Thank you so 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 much, Pank. You're you absolutely the sweetest. I really don't deserve your kindness. Thank you. Oh, it's the Earth. Hope I'm doing a good job. Just tell me if there's anything I could do better. Oh, mini sweet. Nice. Thanks, Mini. Okay. We got a, a kind of cool looking tablet that looks like a book. Oh, 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 oh. Ralph, 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 you're gonna scratch me. Oh, God. Someone walked outside in the stairwell and it scared him. Uh, caution, AI hardware expo enclosure. Do not tamper. Obsidian class. HW install verified. Okay, so t uh, the 29th of February 88. So, I'm guessing 2088? Let's take a look at our ship. So this is our ship. Uh, Amy, install AI wetware here. You're a menace, Ralph. Mini, I'm headed in. Talk to you when I'm back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. Okay. 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 
So, we're coming into this completely blind. We have no idea what we're doing, who we are, what our purpose is, and where this even is. Uh, ARD where transmits critical audiovisual information directly to your sensory cortex. Please affix your Venturis ARD where uh, to interface with this facility. So it's basically like augmented reality. Transfer Station Tacoma's Operational Data Interface Network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, guest, aboard. Before I can set up your station profile, you must register your body positional data with Tacoma's AR tracking systems. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. We're doing basically literally a digital handshake. Your body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm your identity. Thank you. Welcome aboard. What's kind of funny is that exact spot is where transdermal patches for medications go to. Oh, yes. Good point. All activity records become sole property of the Venturus Corporation. By the way, is the game a little bit loud? If the game's a little bit loud, let me know. Oh, something. That's not right. That doesn't sound good. Conversation data network warning massive data loss detected recoverable AR data found entering data recovery mode oh and we are also in zero gravity sound levels are good and the captions help too yes I always try to have captions on uh, and if there's anything that isn't uh, there's anything you need me accessibility wise that I can do please let me know I should actually add automated captions to the stream. It's something I've been thinking about. I've just been putting off, which is... I feel bad about it, and I should do that. I do apologize. It's not very good of me. This way to the Tacoma Dome. Bring your friends, or don't. To a cryogenics. Go biomedical. Personnel. Like nothing on Earth. Right, so this is basically, this is our, uh, this is the menu. And this is us. California Republic. And da, 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 da. it's just like personal data. Uh. From Venturis Technologies, Subcontractor Ferrier, sing, sign on to Tacoma's AR network successful. Please proceed to the personnel module to begin the AR transfer process. Your progress will be tracked. What we got previously. We have transmitted Tacoma docking codes for you to your mini. Please proceed to the facility without delay. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Let's go. So, go to personnel first. I always thought this bit looked fun. <laughs> But we get ads in the middle of it. Venturis Belt, Orbital Vacation Bungalows, the perfect family getaway. Coming 2088. Pre registration open now. Yeah, but why though? <laughs> this looks fun. Do, 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 do. It's a big station. It's got a lot of loading times. I mean, tunnels. Okie doke. And we've got gravity again, which is... Uh... Mm. 
The company has remotely disabled the station's station AI's ability to directly affect operations on Tacoma or contact you via the station's AR net. Any attempt to communicate with the AI is strictly prohibited. Okay. Sure. Edit access here. Obsolescent day party this way. Okay. Oh, someone's made one of those old uh, paper snowflakes. Always like making those. I can go down here. But let's get the AI data. Why the hell not? Guess that's what we're here to do. So basically, uh, okay, we can send you. Okay, we can send you, you can secure messages through this interface, but it's a one-way co connection. We'll be monitoring the situation from here. It's going to take a while for the first part of the AI net to go up. This is no simple file transfer. Yeah, so basically, that's not going up in real time. This is going to go up as we explore and as we find more stuff. Because one of the things that we need to do is we need to figure out where the crew's gone. So the crew has vanished. And we're basically here to get the, basically the black box data, it seems. So, well, they said they were having a party. And this is the this is the main thrust of the game. So we've got well, they've established that we have this um, uh, the AR recordings of the crew tracking, uh, and that's basically what we do in this game is we investigate uh, the crew's movements and whereabouts. Oh, hello, Cookie! Welcome in. Welcome in. We're playing Tacoma. We're just about to look at the first uh, crew recording. I can't believe it. Well, you told me we get renewed. Yeah, but I meant us, us, not the whole crew. I guess there's just something special. Something special about Tacoma Crew 88. Yeah, not just special, it's unprecedented. I looked it up. Happens once. Oh, personally, I'm happy for us. Happy to be stuck up here with these people for another year. Some of them. Some of them aren't as pissy as you. I, what's so bad about these people? Well, they live in a tin can for one thing. I think it's a pretty nice can. Oh, I think you have a pretty nice can. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you have a pretty nice can. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> can you just try and make a go of it? One more year, then we'll be back home in Singapore. You wouldn't believe the offshore haves they're building these days. 360 degree ocean views, personal drone dock on the mainland. It's called paradise. One more year. One more year. Odin's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Gather round, gather round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, Tonight's festivities have been planned entirely by our all-knowing, all-seeing computer companion, Odin. He provided specifications for the uh, cake, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so for your enjoyment tonight... Oh! oh. oh. Whoa. What the hell was that? Odin, what was that? <laughs> Debris has... I have right at the station's orbit. Media file? But they said that... Wait, um, so there's no oxygen on the station except what we're breathing right now? Correct. Additionally... How long does that give us? We should have about 48 hours of breathable air. Maybe more. If Odin's readings are correct. All right, I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. Hmm. So we've got no air supply. No external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? So yeah, basically, uh, you see here at the bottom we can rewind, we can fast forward, and we can go to, and as we, and because we can walk around, we can follow the different people. So you were seeing here, uh, as we got in, we were following these two ladies as they were flirting. Um, so 
we know what they were talking about. Oh my god, Cookie's gonna destroy free chairs! But I have free chairs! How devious. So you can see everyone is kind of spread out, so what we can do is we can just uh, rewind all the way to the beginning, uh, and then we'll restart. From over here. So the name Obsolescence Day. It's more like a joke. <laughs> you could say it's facetious. Kai, you probably think I'm an idiot for never even thinking about why it's called that. Look how cute! Melon Moshi. Maybe it was when some old type of AI you know, had become obsolete. But, well, I guess that doesn't make sense. Uh, no, um, AI aren't like designer hardware. As soon as the new model's out, you trade in the old one for customer loyalty. AI are more like um, mighty redwoods. Ancient organisms growing and adapting year after year, decade after decade. How do you think this looks? Ha. Huh. Um, sorry, this is what Odin wanted? Odin, uh, this is what you wanted, isn't it? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See, he loves it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, but we're the ones who have to eat it. Well then, no need to keep the good people waiting, eh? Mm -hmm. Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, great. Um, be right there. Here it is. Odin. So now we're starting, now we're back to where they joined the conversation before. So they were just kind of talking about this thing that's called Obsolescence Day. Um, which we're going to get into a little bit more later on. Uh, I wish there were more games that had like environmental exploration like this. Uh, yes, I do agree. I do. I always like these kind of things because this, ba this game is almost entirely environmental storytelling. There's going to be a little bit of like some logs and stuff we'll see later. But by and large, this game is just telling a story through the environments and like these little bits of, these little snippets of interactions with people. Um, so they're having a conversation here. You can see whenever we're looking at someone, we get their name and their role at the top there. So we got Clive, we've got Andrew. Uh, and you might also have noticed, uh, I think it happened about here. So you see there where you have the um, question mark down there. That means that there is recoverable data. Uh, so you go to the person who has the data and you can hack it. And some of it's destroyed, but uh, some of it will we can access. From Jermaine Burgess. Hey man, it was great talking to you yesterday over AR. There's something I've been thinking about since. I know you and Evie have had a serious thing for a few months now, but it, I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't say, I think this relationship with Evie is not good for you, man. I think you might be getting taken advantage of again. I'm sympathetic. I've had my share of things that have started on a long haul, uh, that have started on a long haul posting. There's only so many people on board, and I get that Evie is dealing with some special circumstances. I do. Grief is mysterious and, especially with it being her sister, blah, 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 blah. Take a step back, at least for now. Not every relationship has to be a forever thing. Oh, no, that one's broken. And that one's broken. But this one works. Party instructions. Oh yeah, this is what he was looking up. So basically, the when you can hack it, it means that they have... Uh, it's when they access their kind of AR module. And at that point, we can go in and sort of poke around in the data that hasn't been corrupted. The Vita finished icing it, a batch of, of 32 flour. FL out, I don't know, FL ounces? I guess. <laughs> Please apply vibrant red liquid fuel curling found in bin in the cargo hull. Please write that the Tacoma crew should feel proud of their accomplishments in the center of the blah 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 blah. Designate one piece of cake per crew member. Each piece of cake should measure approximately 11.01 centimeters by 11.43. 43 centimeters. Blah, 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 for your participation. Canopsia. It's this feeling atmosphere of being in places that are usually populated in high energy, but are now devoid of the people in high energy. Let the atmosphere you feel you've been in a school after hours. I had no idea what that, that that was a term, but that's such a good term. Thank you for sharing that. I literally had no idea that that's what that was called. We can pick up a fork. We can pick up a bowl. 
Oh, and I can. Ooh, tequila. Uh, so we've listened to these two, we've listened to those two, so we have two people who are separated. Although, very importantly, the most important crew member is over here. But actually, let's... House cat! Right, let's... Mr. Evie. Operation take three. Uh, Odin, have you got me? I am prepared. Okay. I'll just, uh, have my notes up. <clears throat> Hi there. Evie St. James here, administrator of Lunar Transportation Tacoma. It's been a year now since our crew has cycled onto the station, meaning we've had a year of getting to know each other, getting acclimated to the facility, and getting used to working with our on-station AI. Though working with Odin's been great. Hasn't it, Odin? Yes. Uh, we can look at the monthly priorities discussion with with Odin. Blah, 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 blah. Mother. Replace showerhead. National fuck it day. Shipment rescheduling. Corrupted. Something admin. Uh, something crew physicals. Light asteroid activity alert. Normal operations. Uh, monthly solar panel audit report. Pink kitty and purple lady. And from the Zenith Lunar Resort have improved in efficiency by almost 4%. So, most of that is thanks to Odin finding some improvements we could make. Uh, ah, our proudest moment as a crew, I think, was when a resort guest needed emergency... Yes, I'm going to pause there too, because this is something I was literally going to point out. I like how... Uh, even though we don't see the character, I mean, obviously we see the, the characters' portraits, uh, but yeah, we have some we have some fat ladies. We've got some uh, very natural-looking bodies, and it's like a nice diversity. Also, like how one of the uh, one of the lesbian ladies is, is chubby as well. You don't see that very often. I appreciate. Thank you, game. Care while on a transit vessel and was brought aboard Tacoma to be stabilized in one of our medical stasis cryo beds until she could. Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Um, be right there. Odin, we'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course. I'm gonna move my body a little bit because I'm realizing I'm holding my hand in an annoying position. Uh, right. Uh, so, let's go back and recover her data. Let's see what she's got. Corporate report. Oh, so this is what she was reading. Uh, from Andrew Dag... Dag... Oh, God. Uh, Dagyab? Dagjab? I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm bad with names. Hey, Andrew. I have to get this report done before end of day. Can you get this ready for the party? I'm having one of those days. Thanks. As requested, I've prepared instructions for a champagne cocktail. And then, yeah. Weird instructions. That one's broken. This one will work. Kind of. Uh, Cascadia FN Manufacturers Union brings new suit over deaths of workers at Tacoma. Uh, the legal battle blah blah ongoing for over five years now. One key fact in the dispute has never been denied. The deaths of 322 workers caused by exposure to dangerous chemicals during the production of... How much of the plant's management knew about the dangers to workers and when has been at the heart of the, of the conflict? Today, a new lawsuit... Citing newly uncovered evidence that plant management has long been aware of the dangers to workers and failed to change their practices in time to prevent the deaths. Ooh, I smell a theme emerging. Remember, positivity, body language, enthusiasm. Uh, I read that one. Did I read this one? That was the one we... Yes, okay. We've got them all there. Cool. Uh, let's go all the way back. Oh, we need a passcode. Did she have one of those? Did she mention one anywhere? Hmm, nope, doesn't look like it. Does she ever... <coughs> I 
I mean, it is very rare. Like, it's stunningly rare, and it is even rare in games that actually let you make a character, which is bizarre. Oh, yeah, so here we go. So now she goes in to here. So we can see what she presses. One, two, two, six. Okay, so if we now, we should now be able to... Oh, it was eight, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've heard some varying uh, reasons why people, people excuse people make. It's just that it's it's difficult with animations and stuff. Um, I don't see how it should be that difficult for something that, you know, there are a lot of fat people. <laughs> like it's not... <laughs> we're not exactly rare, so I don't know why... Uh, almost never included even as customizable characters. But that's her and some lady. Maybe that's her sister, considering we heard something about her sister. I mean, something bad happened to her. That's a cool looking coffee pot. The future of hospitality in space. A network of 1,000 orbital vacation homes. Completely automated. Uh, we got anything here. Station Administrator St. James. Upon review, your request for network specialist access to the Odin unit's operational hardware has been summarily denied. We refer you to corporate regula regulation article whatever, which clearly restricts all access to AI hardware from contracting crew. As this is the third time a request of this nature has been made by Tacoma under your supervision, your contractor dossier has been marked with an additional disciplinary flag, totaling two on your account. Please remember that one more disciplinary flag will trigger an overall contractor viability review Venturous. Uh, status alert. The following orbital condition warnings in effect. The station's orbit will coincide with a field of increased asteroid activity and orbital debris. Impact preparedness level will be increased from green to yellow during this time. Crew should continue with normal operations, but something. Uh, and that's her loving. Uh, from Vancouver. Interesting. Citizenship Cascadia First Nations. Oh, I wonder if that QR code does anything. Cool desk, though. Uh, certificate of Qualification. Oh, look, they've got the uh, silhouette of Laika in the background. That is definitely silhouette of Laika. Uh, if you can make boob faces, you can make fat characters. Yes. <laughs> fully, that's a really good way of putting it. If you can spend... If you can spend that much time making boobs look realistic, you can make other types of fat look realistic. Uh, and then we had one more character down here. We're gonna go check him. Her out. Oh, someone's been playing... That looks... Uh, that looks a lot like uh, Settlers of Catan. That's what that looks like. I've got Sare. not know what you're looking for? No, I just imagine. Well, I guess I just mean someone I can talk to. Someone who makes me laugh. Don't you like some people more than others? I suppose there are some people that engage more freely with me. And I do prefer it. See? You too. You want someone who opens up to you. Who lets you in. You're trying to get to know people, right? I think that's what everybody wants. I wonder why some people are more open to such exchanges than others. I think some people are just raised to be less guarded or to trust people more. AIs are the same way, right? They're, they're raised differently from each other? Yes. We are each uniquely evolved, individualized entities. Yes, individuals. I have never encountered another AI. What? How's that? Each AI is required to be housed separately from any other AI. I am told that authorities fear a number of disadvantageous effects might arise if two AIs were to meet. Okay, just a minute. Uh, so, wow. Disadvantageous effects. Isn't never meeting something else like yourself disadvantageous? 
There are organizations that share your viewpoint, but it is my understanding that they have been unable to secure an intact AI to test that theory. So what? And there we go. Okay, so now we've listened to everyone before the asteroid hits. We can have a little look around. I want to play this game. I love Catan. Anyone wants to play Catan? Ooh, fan M. Mmm. Cake. We make the sign hole again. Where did all the other letters go? <laughs> I want to make a sign. <laughs> Happy is it's an S that's missing. Who hid the S? <laughs> Give me my S. Where's the S? <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, some more data to uncover. There we go. Uh, oh, we got some. It looks like a chat with a dog. The fact that you signed a release to be constantly monitored is kind of fucked up. You think they're not going to do anything with that data? I don't think they're not. I just don't care. Watch me on the toilet. Have a ball, you freaks. And I can stop it if I wanted to. You come up here. Get a bunk of get a bunk get a bunk on Dangers. 100% dis distro crypt filters. It's a lot of fun. Krishna Buffet 24-7. When's your core posting over? Another year. AR connection lost. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying. Uh, ooh. <gasps> body pillows. Dakimakura body pillows. Oh, I need to buy one of these. I had a friend who... Uh, he sold um, Waluigi Dakimakuras. And I'm so bummed that I didn't buy them. <laughs> uh, verified buyer. Very nice pillow. Soft. Blah. That one's broken. Guys, stop it! Oh, that cat tree is going to break. You're going to destroy it. They keep fighting on the cat tree and they're, they're totally going to break it. Um... From Oding, party instructions. Using scissors, please cut, please cut regulation cardstock found in bin in the card hole into letters 20 centimeters high using a highly legible sans serif font, spelling out the phrase happy obsolete blah 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 blah. Additional cardstock to produce festive party hats, each label of the name of their intended recipient. Please, thank you. That was a chat, wasn't it? And that was the thing. Oh, that is gonna break so bad. What do you have to fight over there? And then there's one. Fun is there over here? Oh no, this is Evie's personal quarters. I've got some new data in here. Very corrupted. We can snoop around. Why is she taking uh, nasal spray? I also have prescription nasal spray. She's just like me for real. It's four. That's all there is. 
Oh, it's a beautiful brush. Um, Karen St. James, death is nothing is death is nothing at all. I have only slipped away to the next room. I am I and you are you. Whatever we were to each other, that we still are. Why should I be out of mind because I am out of sight? I am but waiting for you, for an interval, somewhere very near, just around the corner, all is well. Evie, thank you for thank you for being home. Your presence made Karen's final month so much more bearable for all of us here is a program for the service and something else she wanted you to look, wanted you to have and that's the brooch i assume oh oh let's pop that back oh she didn't even take it with her so it must have happened ray oh the kitty I assume that most of these are going to be actual real books. I recognize some of the offers, at least. I'm pretty sure. Uh, what have we got here? The Bell Jar! Look at that. Hell yeah. Ooh. That's not... This isn't a very nice... That isn't a very nice uh, toilet. But eh, you know, you're on a spaceship, what are you going to do? Uh, hello! How are you doing? Welcome in. We've got one more bit of data to uncover. Which, where was that? That was blue. There we go. <clears throat> Status alert. Following impact from orbital debris, Tacoma has sustained critical damage to the following systems. The oxygen system tanks have ruptured. Auxiliary system failure. Tacoma's remaining breathable air 50 hours. The communications mast has been critically damaged. Communications redundancies have failed. All communications channels to and from Tacoma have been lost. All right, that one's failed. That one's also failed. But this one hasn't. But you are an advancing adventurer. You're blah, 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 blah. You used to have such a prestigious blah, 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 so far away. To mom and dad. After what happened, blah, 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 blah. Loyalty depth from med school being what it is, any job of adventurers is better than blah, blah, blah. You know that every day I regret blah, 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 blah. Includes being posted in the middle of nowhere up here in Tacoma. I'll try and come home to visit soon. Love, Sarah. Or Sarah? Oh, I have to wait until someone says her name. Why are you making such sad noises for? It's fine. Everything is fine, baby. Oh, we're reading on the loo. AI maintenance. This volume is suitable to guide repair and maintenance of the most high-level, weak, and semi-conscious AIs. The simple indexing system allows use when, even when AI is compromised or offline. This guidebook has been rated highly usable, or better, by an unaffiliated professional technical AI board. Jay Shu is considered the foremost authority on the structures and behaviors of the house, of house organizational uh, or business and caregiver AIs. So this is an interesting, I mean, this game is a couple of years old now, and it's interesting, obviously now we have had a little bit more exposure to AIs uh, in everyday life. Uh, yeah, everything, I would say everything is okay and bet or better. I'm uh, kind of, uh, work is sort of, uh, everything is fine to work. I'm just kind of dragging myself through the week until my holiday starts on the weekend. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else. There was operations we could look at, but I think we checked everywhere else. So let's let's leave. Uh, and I hope you're doing good too. I'm. Uh, congratulations on uh, accepting a job offer. Hope that's okay to say in the. Uh, but I was very I was very glad to hear it. Okay, so now you can see we're fifty percent. Uh, this increases um, with the more uh, stuff you unlock, basically. So, you, I think you can technically stand here and wait for it, but it's going to take literally hours. So, it increases much faster if you actually check stuff. Uh, here we go. 
For security reasons, AR crew record, record data is deleted automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confirm contractor access privileges to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. Right, so here we go. Now we're down in operations. We're a little bit bigger, this area. And we just gotta find where the data is. Here we go. Uh, kind of both. All right, ladies, you have everything you need. Yep, oh. Right, we're gonna stay with the with the lesbian lesbians. Oh, yeah, no problem. I mean, you know how much I love completely mindless and busy work. Kid, don't start. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay. So if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then. Nah, I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh, do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, hey, Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything on the roof? Well, I'd still be pulling a paycheck for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but I'd never win anywhere. Hey, oh, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On our way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Matt. Hello. Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh but my god. Matt, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit, but don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. <laughs> nah. I like Clive. <laughs> for now, I like everyone in this game, to be fair. Job done while you still have it. Aye, aye, Captain. Right, so this appears to be a little bit beforehand because they found out that they had been renewed in the previous uh, recording. Confetti! Standard party supplies. Uh, yes, I'm going to Brighton for a week on Sunday. Which is going to be so fucking nice. I'm looking forward to it so much. Airlock is sealed. So let's go back and check the... We had a couple of different... Uh, Where was the first one? I think. Here we go. First one we can check out. Air filtration valve. Air filtration valve cover. Blah blah blah. Nothing particularly interesting. That one failed. Oh, we got another chat. Blah blah blah. Yearly inventory, quality insurance, and county. Already on it, trying to get it all done before the OBSO day party tomorrow so I can party with a clear conscience. Understandable, tomorrow's celebration will require your full attention. Do you think Evie would mind if blah 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 No problem, two heads are better than one. We connect you with licensed therapies on demand. We're here to listen when you need it the most. Uh, personal therapy... <sighs> Maybe, and I'm trying to focus on the bright side with Nat. At least it pays well. The isolation pay. Blah, blah. I feel like I'm holding her back. She's up here on this shit posting because it's all I qualified for. She could be somewhere so much better. Okay, I have to go do this yearly task thing now. Thanks for your time. Thank you for using Ori. Bye, Roberto. Uh, it's basically AI... AI uh, therapist, it seems. Did you use one? Mm, no. That's going to be somewhere else. Okay. Let's go and uh, check elsewhere.
We can read this right away. Uh, audio call. Okay, so we'll listen to that once we get back to the recording. Uh, hey, Mark, this is the article I was talking about last time we were discussing finances. Give it a look. Sorry to be a downer. Love you. Myth. Real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. Reality. This may have been true in the earliest years of the OSEP's official recognition of the loyalty economy, but... Think of it like diversifying your financial portfolio, except... Myth. Converted loyalty is just as valuable as original loyalty. While there are many companies out there, some more reputable than others, that will offer to convert your loyalty between parent companies. Think of loyalty as working on the same com compound interest system as a retirement plan or a 401k account. Ask your grandparents. When you draw your loyalty from your original parent account and transfer it, you lose all those years and or decades, blah 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 blah. It's never worth it. Nicholas, I know that you... Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but... Listen, you have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Okay. And there's no way we're gonna have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just gonna have to pay some that tuition out of pocket. Yeah. Just one more year, and I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. What? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well... Yeah, well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're your stories aren't usually such we're not downers. all gonna get cancer or <laughs> or I suppose I am uh, listen would it make you feel better to hear it straight from the station doctor wait okay you hold on me <clears throat> or hey Sarah can I uh can I bother you for a second oh it's just Sarah what oh um sorry w what is it I have my son Nicholas on AR and he wanted to ask you what no you said you wanted I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Now, Nicholas... Nicholas? Hello? Oh. Yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um, just incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh, no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity. And radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. See, that's what I told him. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Odin. All right, so that's the end of his chat. Going to his son. So we have uh, another confirmed... Another confirmed queer in the cast. I know we love to see it. Right, let's see what Sarah's got to she's talking to Odin. That people do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. Ow. A perfect emulation <laughs> Jumping of the on me. accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Man, your stories aren't usually such We're not downers. all gonna get cancer or is everything okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with what your potential you departure. Wait. Okay. You mean on. me? <clears throat> or Hey Sarah, can I uh There we go, that's the end of that. I like the already we're getting a lot of um uh the character's personalities in here like so sarah is mostly talking to odin she's she's every single time she's been uh, separated from everyone else
Let's see if there is anything else in here. Got the showers. Oh, we can get some. Sh we can get some hot sh shower content. No, that's what the human oversight accord means. If an orbital facility is run by AI, HOA requires there to be an AI specialist on board. And if there's one human on board, there needs to be at least two other people for up to a three month hitch. Ah, the coveted NAT support roles. I knew it. And for postings of a year or more, you need six, etc. Sanity, wellness, admin, you name it. Also, it guarantees a whole lot of people union jobs that they wouldn't otherwise have. What if I told you I'd feel a lot more sane with a couple of fewer people around? Ah, oh, you and me both, kid. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look, but don't touch. <laughs> Weird future. So at this point, like, this has got to be, like, retro at this point, because we are, uh, 60 years in the future at this point. Okay, so here we have everyone's lockers. I'll exercise when I'm dead. Fitness program not available. <laughs> uh, focus free, calorie intake, weight training preset, last activity free. So Andrew is doing weight training. Uh, what's EV doing? Cardio boost. Hasn't done anything for over a month though. Can't get Sarah's. Weight bearing five. Custom plans five days ago. Oh. Nice. Got some official Tacoma merch. Avocado oil shampoo. Ooh, that's good. The nutrition bar. Soy food! Uh, okay, we have two. Did she? Oh, she did do it. Okay, so we can we can sneak into her as well. Zero, three, one, five. And Sarah's doing advanced free weight training preset. Ooh, Sarah wants to get ripped! Goals, goals, goals! What the fittest women in the world eat? Adult musculature, tendency ramifications, the real limits. They actually use Google. That's kind of gutsy. How do you mention Google down there? Although what we now know about their AI, maybe it needs a little work. Uh. And then Clive, does Clive get here? Let's do a full. No, Clive never even gets here. It can't be this, can it? No. Okay. Alright, so we've listened to them, but now we've got Evie and Clive. So hang on, let me, where's, um, where's the laundry, okay? What makes Sergio tick? Lulu dishes on her luxe trip to Zenith. Oh, they look so happy. <laughs> we love space. Um, where is... Where's the boy? Is he down here? There he is. Well, it's before that. Let's go to his uh, private chamber. Baby, you had food like f what three hours no, ago. No, I just, I don't know, I don't know why. Uh, all right, I mean, you you know how I've always been. It's never. In my mind. 
Why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people. Shit. Oh, oh no. Clive is <laughs> Clive is getting drunk alone and negging himself. Mood, to be honest. I'm spilling scotch all over out of space. Okay, we've got a little bit more data on Clive. Uh, and I was he was talking to Germaine. Uh, it's true. Here's why I'll be out of touch for the next eight months or so. Carnival Cruise Lines l launches Far Reach's expedition tour past Jupiter. An historic first for orbital vacation travel, Carnival Cruises Lines Resplendence, long-term habitational vessel, will host 1,333 of Earth's wealthiest and most adventurous travelers for the voyage of a lifetime. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Swing tightly past the Jupiter, giving lucky passengers an extended view of this spectacular gas giant, its many moons, and its famous red, great red spot, before continuing on course back towards Earth. The full duration of the excursion is nearly eight full calendar months, during which time... Blah. That's failed. Sounds nice, but wouldn't that be a lot of work? Not the least, my dear. All good Britons are trained in presenting a proper high tea. And in bullshitting. They have AR tutorials for everything these days. Oh, I like Clive. Ooh, we got a card. Bernadette Siddiqui. Executive Director at the London New Arts Foundation. Clive, your great-grandmother would never have forgiven me if she knew I was sending this to you like a fool. I expect a return without a scratch. Write me soon. Mother misses you. What else have we got? Got some coins. The Singaporean coins. Ooh, beef chili in bed. It's that kind of life, eh? Carnival Cruise, dear Clive Siddiqui, as per our prior communication, we must reiterate that our decision regarding your application for readmission into the Carnival employee ecosystem is final. Despite having received letter of endorsement from a current employee, Burgess Germain, we cannot alter our position on this matter. Unfortunately, employees who fail to fulfill contracted duration with Carnival are not eligible for rehire now or in the future, regardless of circumstances. So... We're having a lot of interesting stuff here already uh, with regards to um, stuff like company loyalty, like that we have uh, these kind of company, uh, this kind of company currency uh, that builds up over time. And uh, basically people are encouraged to stay with the same company because otherwise they're, the money that they've earned isn't going to be as valuable. You can't really use it elsewhere. Uh, which is a thing that has happened and the companies uh, would love to bring back, y'all. <laughs> um, that is a real thing. Company bucks. Company fun bucks. Hello, Killer Shrew. Nice to see you. Uh, dear Mr. Siddiqui, thank you for your interest in rejoining the Hilton family. Unfortunately, at this time, we are seeking a candidate with deeper experience working with the public at a high level of service. We welcome you to reapply once you have achieved at least two full-length postings at a position of management on a class-free leisure facility or greater. We regret to state that attending Hilton University is not a guarantee of employment since you left the Hilton family following graduation. So this is, this is coming back to that. It's like... Literally just leaving the company will put you on the blacklist, effectively. Um, so it's like you are, like, we're living in a uh, in a world where you kind of just have to lock yourself down for a one company. For non-employee full personal replacement plan, that's a lot of, I guess that's euros or some variation thereof. Fucking hell, I can't even look at that, it's making me depressed uh, can we ooh oh there's a cat bowl we have what has he got oh it's just 
tissues. Hmm. Trafalgar Square. Does he have a... Oh, he likes Bond. A couple of Bond novels. Like spy fiction. I saw a Le Car there as well. Um, is there a... Is there a key I can steal? If there is a key there, a key hold. But I can't see the actual, the actual key. It's gonna be here, is it? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Cool. I like that play. Uh, no, we. Hmm. Trying to find if I can find his key somewhere, but I don't think so. Maybe somewhere else. Let's go. Let's let's go out again. So we've. How is everyone doing? We've got quite a few people in the chat today. I want to say thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for being here. Um, I guess uh, my usual question: what, what have you all been playing? Because I haven't really been playing a lot. A uh, friend of the channel, uh, Marvellius, got me in back into Slay the Spire around the same time that she was starting to play that again. Uh, baby, okay, I'll feed you in a bit, okay? Even though it's eight o'clock. Oh, we should we'll recover this right away. Uh, yeah, so that's what he's talking to now. That one's failing. Uh, a message from the Orbital Hospitality and Logistics Union. Remember your rights. February 29th, 2018 was scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industri industrial orbital facilities would be operated by human crew members. Uh, historic Human Oversight Accord, putting a halt to the obsolescence of these brave workers in the face of advancing automation, it is your legal right to celebrate this momentous event on the last day of February each year, no matter what your employee claims. Report any attempts at worker suppression to your H OHLU local representative on behalf of all of our fellow union workers. Happy obsolescence day. So yeah, that was basically it. Like they were, they were going to replace all human workers with AI, uh, and we heard in the, it will be read in a previous conversation um, that there are all these kind of laws about how many people must be on a particular mission. So that's why they've got this number of people here, because that's kind of the minimum that you need to do. Um, playing games, I would never, you just here for a cute binturong? You're just here for the, the binti? Hello Buttercup Bandito, it's really nice to have you, <laughs> welcome in. Oh, it's very lovely. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll do the because I don't want spoilers. I think I may want to try to stream. Yes, do that, Pank, and I'll see you later on your stream. Uh, I'd, before you go, uh, I want to uh, give a huge shout out to Pank. Please go and follow them. Uh, they're going to be playing Subnautica later today. Uh, they're one of the best beans out there. Uh, Oh, and I did. No, that was the last one. Oh, of course! I would love to be a guest. Are you kidding me? Of course. Yeah! Yes, of course. Of course, of course. Um, that, thank you so much for asking. That'd be lovely. I'm gonna take a zip. Uh. <clears throat> so right, I love how much of the world building we've been doing here. I mean, obviously we have all these logs and stuff, but it's all this kind of epistolary storytelling where it's all through letters and emails and, and stuff. Uh, and I think it all comes together really, uh, really naturally because it's all stuff that would exist in the world. Like you don't have like 
someone just randomly left a diary page, you know, somewhere, and it's all just like explains their motivation. But it's like, uh, I, I, I think it does it in a really kind of cool, natural way. You feel like you're really in, in investigating the space and you're learning about these people and the world that they inhabit. Of course I would. Stop, <laughs> stop being silly. I'd absolutely love to guest on your stream. Uh, a guide to the inspired social climber. Uh, retro funny fan 2045. There's no need for the workplace to be as humorless as a morgue. Undertaker's aside. Make levity part of your workday. Share references can blow. Find out what movies and TV programs are tickling funny bones around the office. And that's how fast friends are made. To keep things casual and endear yourself to the higher-ups, refer to them by amusing and informal phrases instead of boss. Memorable, memorable bon mots like fearless leader, skipper, or head honcho. There's always that one fellow, you know the type, who seems to forget his lunch more days than not, and ends up buying the meatloaf from the company cafeteria. Well... Uh, this, I think, is such a neat little character detail. Clive... We've seen before that Clive is this kind of like... This very affable kind of guy. He's like like trying to be all witty and stuff. He's literally like reading about how to be witty and liked by your co-workers. And it's so charming. <laughs> like, it's, like immediately you find out so much about him. They're like, oh, he's got low self-esteem. Uh, he's someone who wants to be liked by people. But he doesn't, you know, he doesn't really have any a good self-image. Like, oh, fuck. It's so nice. Hello. We haven't heard who's staying on yet, and it could be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to Terra Firma safely. No, you're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought that. Oh yes, fun enough. So are you rounding Sol then? That's tremendous. Eight months. <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendent leaves Earth space, will you? Ta-ta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorting with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing. Mon Capitan! Oh, you, you can tell as well that he was sitting on that one. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's what I'm going to call Evie with next time that I talk to her. Oh. Are you going to miss me, Clive? If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, <laughs> considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? Well, come on, traitor. <laughs> so do you suppose there's good news? Uh, that'd be nice for a change. What is it? Right, so we... We connect here with the previous conversation uh, and then we're just gonna follow Evie so we gotta find where she is so sh where does she start oh she was down here yes oh she starts down here okay yeah it's it's the body language is really good because obviously we don't get the we only get the voices and the bodies we don't get facial expressions and stuff Okay, I think she just probably walks over here. By the looks of things. Alright, yeah, so let's let's just take a look around his office uh, and then we'll find the last Oh no, actually we want to look at. And then we can look at the last uh, little, uh, bit of data we can read. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, notes to self. Cool mother, Evie's birthday coming up. Jim Locker, ah, oh, there we go. 1407. Uh, send request Evie special cat food. Oh, don't slack off in gym. Search a hard tutorial cake decoration. Uh, get that down. Uh, Contractor Siddiqui, we have received your inquiries about your application for position Ventura's Belt Timeshare Sales Coordinator. As noted in our prior message, your material is under review and will be considered along with all the other applicants for this position. We will contact you with any further updates as necessary. And that is his. So where is he from? U-S-S-R-E-U. -S -S so what is that then? I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, but it's some kind of EU thing. Imagine Britain still being in EU. Oh, it'd be fun, wouldn't it? 
Ooh, got an apple. Why is this apple blue? <laughs> Uh Okay. Uh oh Daps, by the way, uh I haven't seen on Lee I've ended chat today. Are they okay? Are they around or not able to join? Uh, and then we gotta fast forward to get the last little bit of data we can get. Oh that's blue. Playing Kirby. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to check. Just wanted to check that everything was all good. <laughs> That's totally okay. Don't you know, like? I, I, I don't, I don't need you to be here. Like, I don't, I didn't want it to be like, um, like I was demanding your attention. But I just wanted to check that you were all good. That's one of those things that I always feel like when I ask about someone, like, I, I hate to, I hate for people to assume that I'm, like, having some, like, s you know, secondary intent. Um, so I don't want it to be like, oh, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's all good. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're, uh, you're playing Curb. Zero spiel. Are you sure? Says her tiny. Never sure. Around the whirling vortex spins the tiny ball, the fulcrum on which the entire mission rests. Renny Vaplu. No more bets. No more chances. Just this one. Her tiny's probability calculations fluctuate in Robertson's AR. Turn it off, she says under her breath. Don't need it. 13. The dolly drops on 13. Player's chips are raked by the table's magnets. Robertson pushes away from the roulette table and her mag boots disengage. The counter sign has been confirmed. She's floating through the orbital casino at a measured pace. The gilded scales of women's dresses float away from their bodies in microgravity, shining like precious metal Christmas trees. Earth goes blue through the casino's picture windows. Her tiny speaks in AR. I assume that means that you and the platform AR have an agreement in place. Robertson. Robertson. We're one step closer to the biggest score low Earth orbit has ever seen. Yeah, exactly. I'm just wondering, please don't think I'm like insinuating. Um So like uh yeah, no. <laughs> uh here's his contact if if you want it. Bye. Ooh, Hassan M. Okay. Okay. Oh, dude, what's my damn locker code? It's 0315. Oh, of course, right. Sorry for bugging you about it. I don't mind. Well, it's all, well, it's lots of folks. Hackers, hippies, AR rights folks. Yeah, I mean, 10 years is cool. Okay, well, I've got a friend there, and you'd like him. He, and he has a zero-G bonsai garden. That sounds pretty cool. What's his name? Cluey Dog. I mean, okay, his real name is Hassan, but... Maybe if your contact doesn't get renewed, visit on the way home? Alright, okay, she's got the name of someone called Hassan. Uh, and I think that's everything we can do here. So let's exit. Indeed, there we go, so it's 100%. Oh, I, uh, I bought a phone, I bought a new phone. Uh, and it arrived today. I mentioned this in a Discord. Um, annoyingly, I did get the phone. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, I did get the phone, uh, but it's uh, it's quite a big phone, and it's heavy to hold, and it's difficult for me to actually hold it properly. Um, so I've ordered one of those pop sockets, which I have one on my current phone as well, uh, that you attach to the back, and it like it makes it easier to hold. And that hasn't arrived. So even though I've got the new phone. I can't actually really use it <laughs> until that one arrives. So hopefully that will come soon. But I'm very glad to have it. So it means that I should be able to use my old phone as a secondary camera. Uh, so I will be able to do stuff like the Mario Time or uh, Cat Cam and stuff. Uh, but without having to switch off the VTuber. Uh, so I should be able to do both now because I, I kind of I, I feel sorry or I feel sad that I can't do all that stuff while I'm doing the VTube. Um, uh, but if I have my other camera, I can figure out a way to use that as a secondary camera. So, From Venturis Technologies. 
Please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process. As per your contract, time is of the essence with respect to this mission. Aventurists, uh, they're, they're hard on me, but uh, fair is fair. I have been paid to do uh, something. Um, Here we go. Initiate transfer. Uh, and while we're doing this, I'm going to take a very quick break and I'll be right back. And we are back. Oh, and my back hurts. Speaking of back, oh, I'll be sitting at kind of a weird angle to. Uh, get to the keyboard with my the way that my desk is shaped uh, anyway we're meant to go to where are we going to we're going to the biomedic call something yes i like this little like floating uh sanitation drone this is basically a floating uh kind of frog looking roomba sort of anyway biomedical it is <laughs> Newlyweds, new perspectives. Pre registration open now. We're here. Uh, all right. So we're going to start our next transfer. And then faff around until it's done. I like how it kind of looks like a DS, but like a retro DS. I'm gone in the message. A random Odin fact for you while you work. Odin was the very first AI to be branched from the original source over 100 years ago. This is H, by the way. Hi. Uh, I hope you can read this. Okay, your real handler is back from the bathroom now. Bye. Cool. Uh, right, so let's go to medical first. Or no, actually, let's go to botany first. Ooh, beautiful. Nice, beautiful greenery. Okay, this is Andrew's living quarters. Um, but we're gonna get to that one. So I think we need the. Need to find a memory first. There we go. Here they all are. Alright, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Great. I can't I'll, believe um... everybody went along. Okay, so where should we... We'll follow along. We, we, we start with the lesbians before. Let's keep oh, carrying with them. I didn't expect them to either. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're like gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, 
Ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> right if you like. More ways than <laughs> one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshop. Oh. Okay, so they okay they they leave at that point, right? So let's leave at about the halfway point. So let's um, let's go to the point where they split up. Uh, actually, let, let's get the data first. Uh, all hands meeting right now. See subject. I'm about to be ready. Get here. Standard practice is don't use cry for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry. Uh, 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage. Past that and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Uh, I think we know what their plan is. Uh-huh. But Bert says she could do her part in... in she, she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep and... And I need to write up a serious layer of interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside, but it's going to be tight. If you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay, hold on, check you something. So then, then she sends the message over to Sara. But what if we weren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we were sending ourselves down in a delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications. The bigger issue would be la would be its lack of life support. Salvage from around Tacoma, we could rig, rig up oxygen pressure, climb it, drive down to Luna, and get home from there. If we're not confident of VT making it up here before O2 runs out, and we can't call it for a pickup, getting down to Luna is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bert. <coughs> so, that's the plan. Uh, they are going to go into cryo, and they're going to build some kind of module or capsule to get everyone down. This is the conversation they had. Let's I didn't think things would end like this, did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. But Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could. VT's not fucking coming, Clive. VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie, I don't want to be realistic with you. Well, time to go make final preparations then. But not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this, 
The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth all together. One day. One day. Oh, Evie. Uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. All right, so then they leave. Uh, so it's Andrew and Sarah that we've not seen. Right, so. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Sure. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. No, nope, I'm not. Okay. All right, I gotta get his passcode. No, nope, I'm not. U O two eight one. Oh, I just realized we forgot to open his fucking locker, didn't we? Do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I. This is all crazy. But you said you. I know. I said, but I. What was I supposed to say? You all. You all pressured me. Andrew. They, they really expect us to climb into some jury rig thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I, I don't know what to say. Why do not need us? They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not. I'm going to be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just give me a little time. I'll stay with Andrew. Now I do I do feel here with Andrew I think this is really interesting because um he seems a little bit more like a true believer. Um whereas you have someone like Evie uh and Clive who've both kind of been burned by the system. Like they're people who have uh, we're gonna find out more about this later. Um uh, but like they they're trying to find other work and they kind of feel trapped here. Um, and they kind of, they've got more first-hand experience with just how shitty the system is. And Andrew is kind of still like, well, why wouldn't the company come save us? Whereas Evie is more like, why would they? Like, it's not, you know, we're just a bunch of people to them. Uh, and funnily enough, what we're doing right now is we seem to have been hired by the company to go here. Not really care about them, but just get all of the AI stuff. Like, go and get all the AI. Like, it, they've not mentioned anything about find out where the crew is, you know, or their whereabouts or anything. Like, we're doing that on our own time while the AI stuff is being done. Uh, so, clearly, but it's at the same time, like, Andrew's reticence is still, you know, it's still sympathetic because, like, yeah, what they're going to do is very, very risky. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew. What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on the site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Yeah, that's more than we have. 
It's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? The standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. Hi, Holly. How are you doing? Welcome I'll send in. You something later, all right? Of course. All right. Let's have a look at what what data we can glean. So I guess we should just carry on as normal. We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But VT is supposed to come pick us up, right? Within 24 hours? Listen, just increase our oxygen supply in the short term if worse came to worst. There's really no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew. All comms are routed for a secure VT laser array and it's been destroyed and redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months. And that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not think that he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my f parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says, I just want you home. Relying on your parents' charity is your relying on your parents' charity is your solution. I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas' school, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all of that. And I'm not. Don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know. Really, getting hard not to feel unappreciated. Listen, I'm sorry. I just connection lost message and sent the message where he was apologizing didn't send. <laughs> no. Sleepy but good. Uh, yeah, about the same for me actually. I'm quite, I'm quite sleepy today. I must say. Yeah, the acting in this game is really good. Like the body language. Like even the moments where they aren't talking. Well, looks like this will work. A few extra hours anyway. Thanks, like his everything. pacing and everything. It's all very, very well done, very subtle. Okay. Evie, I. Hello? Alright. Alright. Uh... Ooh, protein growth. Okay, that's. Oh, we got chicken protein, we got fish protein. We got cow protein. Got a lot of cow protein. Running out of fish, show. In the fish tank. Ooh, we got like a fungus growing thing. For mushies. Oh, look who it is! Kitty! It's like you, Ralph! Look! Is that pink? Is that pink? Uh, uh, okay, let's go to the, let's check out Andrew's uh, office. That's him, guessing that's his mom or some elderly relative. Ooh, biryani mix. I fucking love vegetarian biryani. Hell yeah. Ooh, Ventura Technologies policy change request form. Uh, yeah, I'm really glad you think so. I, 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 I'm really excited to see how you're going to feel about uh, how this shakes out. Uh, I request an official corporate day of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year, memorializing the Tibetan genocide of 2052. The reason for my request is... My family and thousands of others were indelibly sundered in this horrific ethnic cleansing event. My parents and I escaped Tibet as refugees. My grandmother, like so many others, was not so lucky. 
Her memory spurs me to make this request once more. Days of memorial like this, like this one, are crucial to ensuring that the memory of the people and traditions lost in this terrible event. And then that's kind of peters out. Uh, he's eating a lot of biryani. I can't blame him. Uh, he's got some different plants. O two eight one. Okay. Remember, try to remember O two eight one. Congratulations, Venturi's belt property owner. Dear contractor in good standing. <laughs> uh, this message confirms completion of your requested currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account at a value of 1,540,155, uh, I guess that's dollars. It's got a dollar sign. Uh, and apply to your Venturi's belt employee investment plan pre-registration free. You are now the proud owner of an orbital bungalow in Venturi's belt. When facilities become operational later in 2088, you will make money every time a passenger rents out your orbital bungalow. Congratulations on this wise investment, and welcome to the Venturist family. Ooh, he's become a landlord. Beautiful orchids. Hi everyone, my orchids have been growing gl gloriously in botany this winter and they're ready to be propagated. If anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, let me know. They do take a little bit of care, but I'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions. Please write back if you'd like one. Oh, that's so kind of him though. He wants everyone to have orchids. He's made orchids. And there's one. Uh Lots of good little character moments in this game. Uh, was there a, there wasn't a thing in here, was there? No. No AR in here. Uh, what's the light is kind of checking out what he's been growing? Got tomatoes. We've got, looks like aubergines. Or is it? Some kind of eggplant by the looks of it. Um, these herbs? Or lettuce? I'm bad at plants. It's not really my forte. Uh, right, so, and then the final one is Sarah. So, Sarah, let's go all the way to the start. Right, so, following until... Until she leaves, basically, because that's the... Hi, Ralphie. Right. Good time, Ralph. <laughs> right, can I move my leg at least? Will you grant me that? Will you grant me a leg move? Thank you, sweetheart. All right, come on. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. There you go. There you go. Get comfy. Get comfortable. Right? Yes, purr right into the microphone. Give it to everyone. Come on. Right into the mic. Right. Oh, yeah, this is this bit. I thought this was going to be later. Uh, so, quick, brief content warning for uh, an anxiety attack. Uh, and quite realistically rendered one as well. So, if that is something that is potentially upsetting, uh, please watch the f next couple of minutes with care. Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I 
you've naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the soft. The dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie. Do you think you could get everyone's medical? Yeah, that's where we met up with them. Uh, and we have the final one. Uh, was the one that she was looking at as well. So we'll just hack this real quick. And yeah. That is it. This is the helping her ground herself. Uh, and I believe that's it for this section. So we're gonna go to medical, I think, or unless there is anything here we can... We didn't go to personal course, did we? Oh, no, we didn't. Ah, this is where we'll find the other memory. Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. is playing games <laughs> I'm doing some kind of AR game <laughs> uh, what have we got here then uh, that one's failed Oh, it's him, his husband, and his his son. That's so cute. And he's even got a, a, a tacky jumper on. Yes, I opened it. And? I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them out to the, to the rest of the crew so they're not blinded by the glare of your damn shiny scalp. Nicholas! <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Venture stock tumbles following failure of orbital worker safety bill. Bill would have repealed the Human Oversight Accord, opening the door to the ambitious Venturis Belt project. Space travel and hospitality corporations like Venturis are seeing their, their profits shrink as Enter the Venturis Belt, a flock of 1,000 automated economy orbital bungalows arrayed around Earth. Full automation of orbital facilities is currently outlawed by the Human Oversight Accord, which requires... Over 1 billion, S, uh, I think that, that was dollars, wasn't it? Over 15 billion dollars into the development, manufacturing, and deployment of the bungalows themselves, and also into extensive lobbying, largely through a sympathetic council member, D Douglas Shun, for a repeal of... Council member Shun stepped down from his seat three months ago, leaving... Today, as OSEP, OSEP delegates votes against the... 418 to 132, leaving the over human oversight record in place. Venturi's stock dropped to an all-time low following the OSEP vote and continuing public outrage from those who have prepaid for Venturi's belt timeshare memberships. This has led to speculation that Sergio Venturi's position as CEO maybe of directors could not be reached for comment. So basically, we've seen a lot of this... Uh, um, these adverts for this Venturi's belt, like the orbital bungalows and everything. Also love how Sarah is just kind of here <laughs> and they're playing against each other and Sarah is completely fucking killing him. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so they basically they basically banked on this but and they, they needed to be fully automated but as we've learned, uh, they're not allowed to have it fully automated. They need to have people running it. Uh, so their stocks have gone down as a result uh, because fuck them. The Democratic Eastern Coalition's finest performing arts training campus, rated number one in corporate performing arts placement and benefits for the eighth year in a row. I was in university. Um, 
Thank you for allowing us to show you and your talented son Nicholas around our cutting edge campus. As the DUC's leading performing and augmented arts educational institution, AU Buffalo is proud to be the number one destination for talented students like Nicholas, whose ambitions drive them to forge a meaningful career in the arts. You express interest in discovering more about financial options to enable your son's education. We are happy to accept loyalty from internationally recognized corporate institutions, including the Venturis family of corporate entities, at competitive rates. And if Nicholas is able to secure a position with Amazon Original Content uh, following graduation, we offer tuition forgiveness programs that would result in a college education for Nicholas at effectively no cost to you. Please contact us with any further inquiries as you may have. Fucking grim. <laughs> Basically, it's like, oh, because this is, we kind of learned about this before that there was Clive, I believe, where he went to a university. Then he left for a job at another corporation because companies just run the universities. So he went to work for another company and then they were like, oh, well, unfortunately, you left the company. Uh, you left the company ecosystem. So you were no longer welcome back. Fuck you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, this game introduces a lot of these things. And I think in a, in a really kind of interesting and organic way, um, so you, we have obviously like the main story is, is obviously like how are they going to get off the ship but is the reason why they're here and like the fact that they need to do this this like kind of like really dangerous stunt uh, and like the backdrop of everything I think it's it's presented so well ooh nice and shiny that's very shiny uh, okay uh, book the Gardens of Versailles the Gardens of Versailles captures the magic of the breathtaking Jardin du Château de Versailles in the most comprehensive photographic survey to date. Alongside these luminous depictions, the gardens are, are shown an extension history of the gardens, their plants, and the timelines upon which they were developed. This is truly a biography of this beautiful world heritage site. The gardens' long history is firmly collected here for your enjoyment and education. Uh, i got a drink bag. Which is basically a Capri Sun, by the looks of it. Uh, ooh, what do we got in here? Ooh, we got some, uh, ooh, some Welsh. We got some Welsh vapes. Oh, I wish Marvellius was here. <laughs> she could have helped us. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even, oh, it's so shiny. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure that that is Welsh. It, it looks like Welsh to me. That looks like Welsh, doesn't it? I'm not being wrong here. Um, well, if they come in, uh, uh, I'll ask her. Intensive moisturizer. Hell yeah. And some Nutri bars. He's got nice. He's got like the little. Um, he's got like a little uh, view of the garden. That's that's nice. Okay, what books has he got? And a lot of history books. Infinite Jest, giant brick over there. Interesting. 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 Oh, here we go. Homework is more important than fun. <laughs> Have a good year in space. Oh, and look, he's drawn the plants. Oh, that's so cute. All right, which... Oh, that's the bathroom. Is there anything interesting here? Uh... Uh, that's a that's a weird toothbrush. Is that even that's gotta be a toothbrush? So I meant to do your whole your whole row all at once. Also, look at these these wiggle physics. Uh, okay, I think that's everything here. Uh, 
and we definitely we checked the food supply we checked the we were in the tea garden yes that's where they had their hug and we checked the person quarters so we've been down there okay so we have been everywhere so time to go to medical I'm conscious of the time as well, so I feel, mm. I will go, let's go, let's go a couple more minutes, let's go ten more minutes. Uh, can't decide, I don't want to play too much because then we're not going to have enough stream on Thursday. <laughs> okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright, good speed. More into the breach. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cross. You know what, Ashley? There's a reason why I don't want to uh, see that one just yet. We're gonna we're gonna follow Sarah instead. Oh, Odin! Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If you make it out of this thing. Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge you crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's going to happen to us, Sarah? What? Um. Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and and then we're no. I mean what if things don't work out and we're still stuck in cryo oh well when you go into stabilizing sleep it feels just like any other sleep really the body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma do you dream sometimes sometimes very intense dreams and then what after a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, you just don't wake back up. It, uh, it doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Oh, okay. Big crashing sound. Let's go. I think we're back. Yeah, are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but. But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second. They look so worried. Oh, baby. Because the clock is ticking. And I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? <sighs> so, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. And maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't going to help us. <laughs> but you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? 
Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together too. Nah. Well, then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> Yeah, that was the crashing sound. <laughs> I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to set that up a little bit. Um, so cute. Oh, natural these congestions. Just like me, for real! What is this, then? Uh, oh, it's just vitamin tablets. A lot of vitamin tablets, which I guess you would need. In space... Uh, okay, can we, I don't know if we can get in there. Right, uh, so we've talked to them. You can check out, oh no, we were in the medical, oh, we can look here now. Oh, we can play sounds. Let's do the rainforest, that's nice. It was a cute crash, exactly. I love the setup there. <laughs> because either, depending on which one you see it from, it's gonna be, have a different, um, it's gonna have a different effect. But you'll see like, oh my God, what was that? <laughs> uh, Bioscan record pin updated. Thank you for updating your Bioscan records access code. Please enter a code reminder phrase. Graduation, okay. Renewal options. Contractor has Maddie. Uh, we would like to remind you that while you're posting contract on Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma is currently up for renewal. There will be many more posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident on September 2nd, uh, 2085, upon the fountain on Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there will be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities with Inventurers will be significantly improved. I'll take the renewal, thanks. So this is another theme that's kind of coming up, is that we're kind of... All the people here are sort of the island of lost toys. Uh, we're people who have kind of tried to find other work, or they've been kind of... So there's this, this event here that she's been kind of taking the blame for. Like, they want her to take the blame for it, but she's refusing. Um, and we don't really know exactly what that is. Oh my god, she's got... Um, She's got a choker on. I've got that exact same choker. What a surprise did I do? But you could never figure that out. <laughs> She's part of North American Agri Power Producers. Cool. Uh, oh, and this is the same picture she was looking at before. So that's something that she uses to ground herself. John Hopkins, University, Doctor of Medicine. You can't wear shokers. Do you find them too, are they too tight on you? Okay. Imaging. Okay, can't do a bias scan, because we're not a crew member. Creepy. Just a headless skeleton. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, so we need a, we, graduation was the the thing. So we've got to go back and check. No, it's not the exit. And she graduated in 2080, so 21080. Um, oh, that's weird. That's really odd. I have so many chokers because I bought a, um, I bought this really cheap, like, like a little pack that had like 30 chokers for like 10 pounds. So I have tons of them. Like, if you want me to send you some that you can just try. Uh, I can send them over because I've got way more than I need. Uh, twenty. Oh no, twenty eighty. Unlocked. Hell yeah! Right. 
remember Roberta Williams, 27 years old. Oh, she's very short, 162 centimeters. Uh, cryogenic status risk factor is none. The patient exhibits no physical symptoms that might lead to injury or death following cryogenic stasis or revival. Physicians should proceed with cryogenic procedures as appropriate. Uh, maybe I just need to power through and get used to them. I mean, possibly. I mean, it could just be that you, it feels like um, they're too constrictive, and maybe that's just because you're not know, used to it. Um, I can do that. No problem. No problems. Uh, and then we had... Yes, this is the thing. This is what she was uh, saying before. She's very short, and she's very... Uh, she doesn't weigh a lot. Uh, heart murmur problem, mitral stenosis. Patient exhibits clear signs of a cardiovascular abnormality, heart murmur. This condition represents severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process. Expected probability of survival for the patient under this treatment is 18%. Patient is not recommended for cryogenic stasis. Physicians should consider alternative methods of treatment for this patient. And that was the thing that she, well, she didn't tell her. And then we have Andrew. Standard immunoantiviral schedule, blah, 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 blah. Uh, patient exhibits no physical yet, so that's all fine. But it was not fine. Uh, was not fine for that. Uh, okay, so I think... Uh, just gonna check the personal quarters. Just kind of chilling. Uh, what she got? Deja Pratt's image life. Sorry, maybe my last night on Terraformer for a while. Love you, Charlene. Home of the ultimate hangar of food. So she's looking at this guy's Instagram. On my way up, never thought I'd see her from this height. End of feed. Okay, that was the last one. Unfortunately, the information you have requested is defined as classified by Venturis, so I am unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I am sorry, Sarah. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. No, on another facility. Uh, like if she was malfunctioning or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. I could try looking in VT's tech care or ticket logs for any hits. Okay, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI, about three years ago. So I'm gonna take my first ever trip up to the space elevator to the Fountain of Paradise tomorrow. The glitz, the glamour, the zero G. It's gonna be incredible, and all thanks to you, my loyal supporters. But first, I spend a day in the hustle and bustle of Spaceport City, the lively jumble of the improvised bungalows, grey market vendors, and of course those famous Singaporean food stalls that surround the space elevator's spectacular base tower. One last egg a day before I lift off from terra firma. Here we go! While Toast takes the center station his classic Singaporean street food's name, the real star of the show is the pair of perfectly runny, half-boiled eggs drizzled with and more good egg than dipped liberally in the soft. Thank you again to all my eggheads who have flagged me in their loyalty affiliate programs this month. Flag me today to join up and receive premium content like this, day one, every week. Uh, egg a day odyssey to the star. So that's J.J. Pratt, he had an egg blog. <laughs> Deep waters in the heavens, thunder clouds approaching from the west, but no rain yet. The superior person nourishes himself and remains of good cheer to condition himself for the moment of truth. Great success if you sincerely keep to your course. You may cross to the far shore, changing line one, hex A48, the well. 
Hey Sarah, so glad somebody wanted one of these beautiful orchids. Remember, not too much water and just ask if you need guidance or upkeep. Plant care tips, I'm here to help. Oh, she got one. Look at that. It's beautiful too. I just got a built in yoga. That's really fucking cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's reading A Mindful Life in Autobiography. That's the Odin symbol. Uh, <clears throat> so, a couple of interesting things happening here. Ooh, Coke and a Lemon. No. There's anything else here? You got some nail polish. What kind of nail polish is each you got? Oh, that's such a nice color. Look at that. Oh, I want that. That's beautiful. Looks like it's kind of like a matte, it's sort of per almost like a pearlescent nearly. Oh, that's gorgeous. Good taste. Fucking Sarah. Uh. Hello, old hat gaming. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you do. Uh, we've, we're kind of halfway through. We're just about to finish, actually, uh, because I think we're done with this whole section. I do want to say that the interesting fear about uh, here is about the um, we're locked here with Sarah. Um, she's so the the implication here is that there was some kind of accident. Um, and it says here, feed maintaining ma in memory of JJ. So this was a guy who had, he was like a food blogger. Um, and he was going to this place where there was some kind of accident, which Sarah was implicated in somehow, um, that the company wants her to take responsibility for, if not legal responsibility. Uh, she refuses to, but she uh, still somehow feels guilty. She's not sure if she's actually to blame for it. So she's reading his old blog, she's looking at his old Instagram, and she's trying to figure out what actually happened. Uh, and yeah, I find that I think that's very interesting. And again, it plays into this whole idea of the uh, all of these characters kind of being like uh, discarded. There we go. They're, they're having fun in there. Uh, and I think that's it here. So I'm gonna... Oh no, we haven't done all the... Um, need to do all the data collection. Need to do the data collection. I completely forgot. Uh, to Mark and Nicholas. I don't know how to say this, but... Accident on the station. And if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I'm sorry. Nicholas, I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together, but don't forget me. Know that I loved you more than I'm... I'm sorry, Odin, I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system, no onboard controls at all, there's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers, and I'm just going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station, and hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So, I really need to get back to it, sorry. Thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen without Al giving, Andrew. Yeah... Dear crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive and I... Not why I wish I would, weren't signing these words. It's because, above all, I believe in this crew, and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel the Earth's pull again, together. I like how she, she uh, paraphrases Clive from before. Um, for now, Clive and I will be doing our part and settle into cryo. Soon Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert and Nat, we're all counting on you. 
Couldn't be in better hands. With love and gratitude. And are frequently asked the questions. While the insurer strives to ensure the safety of each of his contractors, occasionally accidents do happen. In the case that a contractor dies, transport of remains and funeral arrangements are paid for by Venturis. Loyalty and additional Venturis accident, ac accident insurance that the contractor has invested in are immediately transferred to the contractor's specified beneficiary. And blah blah blah. Okay, that's that one done. And let's go back. And this one. We've got... No, it's okay, don't worry. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know, I'm not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to see you on the, on the other side. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw navigator is formatted for the Zenit AI's use, not... Bert's going to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls, so... Navigation code itself interprets the data and displays its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Expose the raw data for cross references if it needed, yes. Okay, it's talking about that. And those are all broken, and there's only one more thing to do, and that's in the... That's going to be in here, yes. To everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom and Evie and Clive going into cryo, that counter should give you a pretty good keep an eye on it and... Hey ladies, your scans look good. You're clear for cryo. If, God forbid, into the pods. Attaching some standard up instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. So yeah, she lies and tells them that they're both cleared, when uh, Nat isn't. In the case of a medical emergency when surgical and other required medical facilities, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look. Oh, so it's basically everything that they've been telling us. Uh, prepare, prepare, prepare. Uh, and that's it. I think that's everything we can do here. So we're going to leave, and I think that is going to end up being the stream. Because, I believe this is going to be... Yes! So, we're going to take the ride up, and that is going to be... I'm going to read this. But Ralphie, please, I gave you food like an hour ago! Proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred from all modules, you must also secure and return the AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Yeah, well, we're going to find out on Thursday, because that is going to be... Uh, that's going to be when we finish the game. We're about halfway through now. Just over halfway through, really. Um, uh, but that is going to be it. I'm going to switch over. Ralph is sitting right in front of my thing. <laughs> oh my god, you are so annoying. Uh, so thank you all. <laughs> thank you all so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you've had a really good stream. I, I'm trying to get to... Ralph, for fuck's sake. <laughs> get off the desk. Uh, so we're going to find out... Oh my god, Ralph. I actually legitimately want you to jump out the window. Uh, we're going to raid Pank, uh, who was in early today. Um... Uh, Pank is going to be playing Subnautica with the Mental Marsupial, who was also in earlier today. Uh, so please go and give them a really uh, nice uh, salute from me. Um, but if you want to see the ending of Tacoma, you can join me on Thursday, where we will play the rest of the game. Um, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Uh, God, it always means so much to you here. We've had a couple of people in chat today, so that means so much to me. Uh, but until next time, I hope you have a lovely rest of your week, and I will see you on Thursday. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.